So as you can see, three provinces. One, two, three. Look at all those birds. They everywhere. A few moments later. And my cousin's here. So now we try to find where to exit. Okay, so it's time to go to the next temple. Hello everyone, we are at the next destination. This is our second temple of the day. Hello, how are you? Um, so let's get in. Right, so the temple behind me, that was built in 1957 and finished in 1963 from what I'm told. It looks brand new to be honest, it is. I think because of the repaint and everything. And as you can see, they stopped building some tent at the moment. There might be some um, celebration or special occasion that's coming up. Okay, so I'm not sure if you could see them but these are artists, they re gild the Buddha statue at the moment or repaint them, I'm not sure, is that gilding or painting? Yeah, in gold leaf We need to plug this outside so the smoke won't affect the painting and the statues So beyond this point, there are a lot of stopa and I want to give them some respect and privacy, right? So I'm not going to show all the stopa, but I'm going to show you this real quick. It's the Golden Temple. It is one of the um, holy place for this temple in particular. Okay, so over here it is a memorial for a journalist who sacrificed himself reporting during the civil war in Cambodia. That was, whoa, it's nearly 40 years, wait, 50 years ago. That is insane. And just like, I'm going to show you just this one real quick. This stopa is a generation, intergenerational stopa because as you can see there are about five six six names over there all their remains are stored in here and i think the oldest one was in 1949 that is very very old <laughs> whoa give me goosebumps there's two Buddhas on the left and on the right and at the center point there's another actually there are three statues oh they are amazing so as you can see the stone inside they are quite different from the outside because these are the original stone that were put together a long long time ago at least two or three hundred years i'm not sure but they are completely different from the cement one that we see outside the golden one okay so according to my lovely friend right here the temple itself like the surrounding there are two names one is called Wat Butum. No, oh, what no, no, no. no. It's the official <laughs> names, but some old people or Cambodian calls it um, Wat Pulum. And Wat Pulum oh. come from the word Pulum. It's the original name of this temple behind. By um, 15 centuries, um, in the reign of His Majesty King Punyayat, um, the temple has already existed by 15 centuries. So, minimum 500 years. 
this is why I have him on my side as a guide because he knows a lot of Cambodian history and as you can see like the stone outside and inside they don't match because the inside they were original stone like long time ago this is like the resurrection and they make it outside um yeah i'm glad that i have him with me a few moments later so the temple that we just visited right usually they lock it up but fortunately we came in and the, the guy, the, the lady who guide the place, she was like, would you like to come in? It was very fortunate and she unlocked the gate and then we could go and see it inside. Right now we are on a different yard of the temple. It is so beautiful, it's so golden, it's so yellow. You can see we got a different god, this is to represent Hinduism. And then on the other side to represent another branch of Buddhism. So a while back, Around 1950, there was a very, very famous Buddhist monk. He is still the most famous Buddhist monk in Cambodian history, right? His name's called Samdak Juana. This was his residence, this entire building. And the one behind me right there, this is his stopa. He passed away a long time ago, but his reputation, his work, is, are still being celebrated until this day. So according to my friend, uh, he mentioned that the famous Buddhist monk, he passed away in 1969 but then we didn't cremate him until 1971, just right before the civil war of Khmer Rouge regime. <laughs> Look at this, a gigantic gong represent all the 10 Southeast Asian nations. As we are finishing our second temple of the day Just want to say thank you to my cousin and my friends for being here with me A quick reminder to all my viewers as well like Every time you go to temples, be mindful, be respectful Because a lot of temples in Cambodia How do I put it? They have monks, like normal monks, reside in those temples, right? So just make sure that be mindful It's not a tourist attraction per se as you can see, there are monks just right over there. Just, just right behind me. 